Lenok had laid down his knife and fork. He said in a low voice, If you give me an ending like that, I will think you a very great man. If I give you an ending like that, I will be like 10,000 other cheap illusionists. I would be as bad as the late H.G. Wells. I would be worse than Goethe. Footnote. Footnote. Uh, this remark is too ludicrous to require comment here. End footnote. Nobody who knows a thing about life or politics will believe me for a minute. Lennox said nothing. The conjurer scratched his hair furiously with both hands and said querulously. I understand your resentment. When I was 16 or 17, I wanted an ending like that. You see, I found Tilliard's study of the epic in the Denistone Public Library. And he said an epic was only written when a new society was giving men a greater chance of liberty. I decided that what the Aeneid had been to the Roman Empire, my epic would be to the Scottish Cooperative Wholesale, Wholesale Republic, one of the many hundreds of small peaceful socialist republics which would emerge, I thought, when all the big empires and corporations crumbled. That was about 1950. Well, I soon abandoned the idea. A conjurer's best trick is to show his audience a moving model of the world as it is, with themselves inside it. And the world is not moving towards greater liberty, equality and fraternity. So I faced the fact that my world model would be a hopeless one. I also knew it would be an industrial, west of Scotland, petite bourgeois one. But I didn't think that a disadvantage. If the maker's mind is prepared, the immediate materials are always suitable.